Hello, party people. Welcome. Uh, pumped to bring you this one because, you know, debt is a handbrake and trying to get ahead while you're running debt, it's sort of like taking two steps forward, one step back. Uh, it can be really frustrating and tricky to get out of. So I wanted to share with you a few uh, tactics and tricks that I've learned along the way, things that can make it a little bit easier to ditch your bad debt for good essentially. So look, guys, before I jump into this, please, uh, you know, don't rush out and make any big decisions. I strongly suggest you seek out personalized advice before jumping in. So what we're going to cover today is how to approach your debt, uh, where to start and how to repay your debt faster. So basically, I want to share this strategy called cascading debt repayments. Um, it's a super, super powerful one. And I think that to take a step back, I think where people can sometimes go wrong when it comes to debt, particularly if you've got multiple debts, it's sort of like you're, um, you're trying to pay them all down and it's just like super slow progress. So cascading debt repayments, it sort of flips the strategy on its head and, um, instead of spreading your payments out, you focus in on one debt, uh, clear that debt out, and then you move on to the next debt. And that's why they call it cascading because you sort of, the debt trickles down. Now, I just want to uh, make sure it's crystal clear that what I'm not saying here is I'm not saying not to make the minimum repayments on your debt because obviously it's very important that you do that. Um, but what I am saying is how you can actually, where you focus the majority of your attention and money to actually eliminate your debts faster. So look, I've got an example here to share with you. And this is the banking framework that we use at Pivot. I'm not going to go too far um, into this at this point, because there's a ton of other content online that you can check out around that if you want to dive deeper. I think it's really important and powerful, particularly if you're in debt in the first place. Uh, generally, how you get there is because you're not as on top of your say, I know that there can be a lot of different reasons why, but not as on top of your savings and spending management as you could be. And so that's something that I think is worth checking out. But where I particularly want to focus is around this debt side of things. And um, essentially, when we're looking at this example, we've basically got three debts that are sitting underneath. We've got uh, one for 1500, one for three and a half thousand, and one for 10K. Now, keep in mind when you're thinking about your debt that the interest rate isn't the only important factor. It is important, but it's not the most important thing. And when, if, if people have multiple debts and they're thinking about where do they pay, they'll often think about what has the highest rate and start there immediately. Now, that can be a really good strategy and the rate is important. And obviously, if you've got it like a high interest rate debt and a low interest rate debt, it is going to be more financially beneficial to pay down the higher interest rate debt first and then you pay down the lower interest rate debt after. But there are some reasons why... Um, you may want to do it slightly differently to that. And I've got that in this example. So what you can see with these debt amounts is that in um, I, I've got here the basically the amount owed on each debt and the minimum payment. So you can see that on the $1,500 debt, there's an interest rate of 10%, a minimum payment of $100 a month. On the $3,500 debt, interest rate of 12%. Uh, minimum payment of 200. Then there's the $10,000 debt, interest rate of 20%, minimum repayment of $400 per month. And so for this example, I've used a, an assumption that you basically got a $1,000 a month that you can direct to your debt repayments. And so you see that your minimum repayments are 100, 100 uh, 200, 400. So total minimum payments of $700 per month. And that means that there's $300 per month spare that you could direct to paying down your debt. And so in this case, because we've got one debt here, which is has the lowest possible amount, or the lowest amount of each of the three debts at $1,500, even though it's the lowest interest rate debt, you may choose to pay down that debt first because what that does is it eliminates one additional 
monthly repayment and then frees up more cash that you can redirect to paying down the other debts faster. And so I'm not saying you would exactly necessarily do this, but we've got $1,500. We put the extra $300 a month. And what that does is it allows you to basically ditch out that debt first. Once that debt is gone, you can then focus in on the second debt and you've now got $400 a month that you can actually pay off that debt. Um, and <clears throat> that will allow you to make faster progress on the second debt and clear it out sooner. Then once that's gone, you basically can focus in on the third debt and direct the minimum repayments plus all of the extra money that you've got, $600 per month, to smash that down faster. Now, because the third debt is the highest interest rate debt, that is where a lot of people would um, start. And look, this is not a perfect example, but it's just to give you a, a, a really a, a sense of how you could tackle things. Because if you've got a $10,000 debt, like in this case, and you've got $300 per month spare that you can use to pay down that debt, it's going to take quite a long time to actually get rid of that debt. We're talking about a lot and lot of months. Whereas if we can clear out the other debts first, you are then paying $1,000 a month onto this debt. It means that you can smash it down in a much faster time. And so not a perfect approach, but it is an approach that allows you to get some wins, clear some debts out, and then have more debts to pay down the remaining debt faster. Ultimately, you then get rid of that debt and you're essentially debt free. Um, and I think this is a good way that you can break out of the cycle. Now, to, I suppose that there's another level beyond this, and I recognize that this is not available to everybody, but if you can do a balance transfer or debt consolidation loan, that can be a way to firstly consolidate your debts, but reduce or in some cases completely eliminate the interest costs that you pay. And the more you can get the interest down, then that means the more of the money that you are directing to your debt is going to actually be paying down the amount that you owe instead of just covering dead interest payments. And so that can be a real accelerator for this strategy. You do, if you go down this path though, it's very, very important that you avoid the balance transfer uh, trap because basically the reason that these banks provide balance transfers is because they know that a lot of people end up coloring outside the lines and they end up paying even more in interest. So with balance transfers, just so that you're aware, typically, and these are a little bit different for each uh, provider, but typically how they work is that any new spending that you do on the balance transfer credit card is done at the highest interest rate. And so if you have a 10 grand balance transfer card and you transfer $5,000 in at 0%, for example, then you spend $1,000, that $1,000 is going to be paying full freight interest and they're generally higher interest rate credit cards. You then need to pay down all of the $5,000 that you transferred using that example before you can pay down any of the uh, the any of the um, higher interest debt, essentially. And so that means that the, the any spending that you do on the card is trapped at the higher interest rate until you ditch out all of the 0% debt. Another thing to keep in mind when you're going down this path is that you want to make your debt repayments as sustainable as possible. And it's a natural when people, particularly if you realize you get into a bit of uh, issues with debt and then you want to get rid of it, that you start doing drastic budgets, trying to free up as much cash to pay down the debt as much as possible. And that in itself is great. However, if you've got a number of weeks or a, on a significant number of months to actually pay down your debt, if your budget is structured in a way where you can't you can't really cover the expenses that you want or need to be doing, it's almost like an unsustainable strategy and it's going to be hard to stick to. And what can happen, and I think the real risk here is that you end up saying, oh no, it's not working. And then you have a massive blowout, you end up spending even more and then you're way back where you were to begin with, maybe even in a worse position. And so... If you're if you want to be aggressive with your debt repayment, if you're committed to it, um, 
if you want to do this, you can work in sprints in short bursts, but do it in short bursts only because super drastic sacrifices and cuts to your lifestyle are unlikely to be sustainable over the longer term. You want to focus in as you're doing this on, on your wins as well. Any wins, which is like, and it's important how you think about these as well and celebrate progress as you move forward, that you want to highlight the fact when you get your debt down, you've got it down to the next $1,000 or the next $500 mark or even $100 if that's what it is uh, for you. You focus on those wins. They're going to boost your motivation. They're going to show you that the effort that you're putting in is working and then you can keep following the bouncing ball. You want to maintain your focus and keep celebrating those wins. Keep that focus moving forward and try to make your debt repayments as automatic as possible. So guys, I'll leave you with this quote from Derek Sivers. He's a total legend. Uh, he says, if information was the answer, we'd all be billionaires with perfect abs. So I hope you got some great ideas here, but ideas without action are meaningless. So now it's up to you to make it happen. Guys, as always, if you've got any questions, uh, you can hit us up through the Pivot Wealth website or submit through the Smart Money Accelerator app. Cheers, guys. That's it for today. I'll catch you next time.